Craig's sakes, that moment when you wake up in the morning and you think when you're getting a phone call that it's something important and it's just not, and then you get really upset because you can't get them to hang up. Yeah, that sucks. What I'm referring to is, do you guys remember last year around this time? I bought myself my Dell laptop for mobile editing and uh, all that shit. Well, two weeks or three weeks after buying it, I get a call from Dell and they want to offer me an upgraded uh, warranty on it. Basically, the lady on the phone said, oh, it's got the splash and the crash and all this different coverage and blah, blah, blah. It's really good. 300 bucks for three years, done. And I was all like, okay, do it up. Let's go. Warranty it up. So they threw a warranty onto it. Well, today I get a call from Dell. They want to re-warranty the laptop with the exact same fucking warranty I already have, which is awesome. So I told the lady, I'm like, no, I already have that warranty. They sold me that one last year. And she's like, no, sir, you just have the standard 90 or one year manufacturer warranty, which is up soon. And I'm like, no, I don't. I have the warranty. Check my bill of sale. I just check my bill of sale. I have the warranty. She's trying to tell me I have a one year. So if that's the case and I never got the warranty, Dell took $300 of my money and didn't give me shit. So I just went and checked and I do have a warranty. Obviously their sales staff doesn't know what the fuck they're really doing. So yeah, that's my last Dell. I said it before and I'll say it again. That is my last Dell. I am done buying Dell computers. I am sick and tired of being harassed by their fucking... You buy the computer and they call you non-stop. Oh, how's the computer, sir? Maybe you should consider picking up a projector for it. Maybe you should do like trying to get you to buy more shit. And it's like, if I wanted more shit, I would go out and buy more shit. But I don't want it, so don't impulse it on me. But no, I'm, I'm done with Dell. They haven't, uh... The, even this last computer, I am not impressed with it. You know, they shouldn't advertise it as video card AMD 7730 when it's a software hybrid and half the time it doesn't fucking work. To be honest with you, the old 15 inch, or the 13 inch I should say, uh, Acer outperforms the new Dell laptop when it comes to gaming. So, that laptop is not a gaming rig. The only thing it's good for is it's a big ass processor for cutting videos. But as far as playing video games go, forget it. Anyway, it's later than frig, it's like 2.30 in the afternoon. I've been up since about 1, but just been dawdling. Just been dawdling. Got another package in the mail today. Let's crack into that. Alrighty, I don't know what this one is, so let's go ahead and crack into it here. One second. Well, right on. It's my Helios. An authentic Helios. Not like that cheap one I got from Fast Tech that didn't work worth half a shit. Also got some 30 gauge wire instead of the 28 gauge. I went with 30 gauge Canthal just to try something a little bit more higher resistance to build those low, those high ohm coils. Those high resistance coils so I can get more chooch out of it and use less battery on the old Proto Vapor. Frig yeah. Also got some juices here. Uh, some strawberry shortcake, some choco nana, which I've been smelling non-stop because the whole package smells like choco nana right now. <laughs> and uh, blue water, as per Adrian's suggestion. Apparently he really likes his blue water one. It's not really blue, but uh, yeah, we'll have to give him a go. Frig yeah, love that kind. And last but not least, the 18650 adapter for the i the cool fire one i have been wanting one of these for the longest time i saw them on the internet for like 50 bucks i was like are you fucking serious the device is only worth 30. then i saw people using uh, tubes from other devices the segeli number eight and i was like son of a bitch i don't want to buy a device just to have a better device you know and then one day i saw it on health cabin and the next day i saw it on can vape and i was like fuck yeah five dollars five dollars now makes this thing an all-day vape. That excites me to no end. Frig yeah. Before, after. Oh shit. Now that is a good size for an uh, for a Cool Fire One. Frig yeah. Love it. Well, there you go, people. The Cool Fire One with the extension tube sitting beside a Vamo, both running K Fun like devices. This one here is running the K Fun Light. This one here is running the Russian 90, 91%. And as you can tell, the Vamo is still a little bit taller than the Cool Fire 1. But frig sakes, do I love this Cool Fire 1 now. I got a 3400 milliamp battery into it, and it does a pretty good job. Mm. You know, does a really good job with this uh, K Fun. But, like I said, I got this 30 gauge wire, or 30 gauge, yeah, 30 gauge wire here to make coils with. Now, the higher the number and wire you go, the more resistance that wire carries. And you're probably saying, well, why would you want that? Because sub ohming's where it's at. Well, keep in mind, people, this thing here is running 28 gauge, 
and I don't know if you can read that, but uh, the resistance is 2.3 ohms in the coil. You don't need to sub-ohm to make clouds. You can do it with anything as long as it's built right and you have the right device pushing the power to it. So for regulated, which I prefer over unregulated, and by unregulated, I mean like, one second, I'm gonna put this thing down, for frig's sakes. Like this Nemesis is unregulated. When the battery's fully charged, he's throwing 4.2 volts, or 4.1 volts, or at least four volts to the, to the coil. So if you have a lower ohm coil, and you're throwing four volts to it, you're doing like 22 watts or whatever, you know? And right now this one's not functioning properly. I need to rebuild it. The coils are clunked. But that's once again why I bought that 20, uh, 30 gauge and I got some 24 gauge back there for building the, the mechanicals. So you can build them low ohms, get big clouds. But when you're unregulated, you don't want low ohms. You want high ohms. You want high resistance. And you can get some pretty good uh, 15 watt friggin' bangers out. But uh, to each their own, to each their own. I prefer regulated over unregulated. It just seems safer, you know, because if something goes wrong in this thing here where the coil shorts, this battery is going to get really hot. And that's a, a, something that people were talking about was uh, one of the common things is, is it safe to use this battery? Well, if it's an IMR battery, and that's uh, lithium magnesium based. When they short, they get fucking hot. They don't explode, they just get really, really, really uncomfortably hot. I saw a video on YouTube where a guy actually shorts one of these EFEST 2000 milliamp 10 amp discharge batteries. He direct shorts it and the casing melts off of it and then he takes one of those infrared temp guns and he shoots it to see what's going on. And sure enough, the, um, the battery is sitting at over like 200 C. So if that is inside of a metal tube like this and you are holding it and it is shorting, you're going to get some serious fucking red scores on your hands. It's going to burn you pretty good. You're going to know you pucked up. So that's why you got to be careful when you're playing with mechanical mods and do it right. But if you're running an ICR, like, like, like blueberry here, my 2200 milliamp blueberry, I think it's 2200, yeah, 2200 milliamp blueberry. This is an ICR battery, it's carbon based, and these will grenade on you. The bottoms blow out and it's a big mess, and you know, if you have it packed into one of like one of these tubes, not this one here, but if you have it packed in one of these tubes, and it needs to vent, well, it's just got that little hole in the bottom, if that's not enough, you're gonna fucking have shrapnel from your mod coming off of that thing and blowing up in your hands. That's why they always recommend IMR batteries, because they don't grenade as hard, but uh, to each their own, right? I prefer the IMRs myself, but uh, right now, in the cool fire, I got an ICR uh, 18650 3400 milliamp Panasonic, and it is just fantastic. This device has officially become my favorite, even though you're probably thinking it's unregulated. It is a regulated device, 8.5 watts constant, and it just juges. I love it. Just friggin' does a great job. Gives you the perfect amount of vapor. Amazing flavor. Like, I'm loving this stupid... I love these K-Funds for flavor. They're the best. And, um, just, just delicious. But, um, I noticed a couple people were t telling me, Oh, Adam, you gotta get a Nautilus. You gotta get a Nautilus. And even Bloke, Crazy British Bloke, he got himself a Nautilus. And he's really enjoying it. He thinks it's amazing. And, like, he loves it. And, uh, I know, uh, Vapor Jim got one, too. Uh, he went through both of his coils pretty quick, I think. Uh, he's already on his second coil. And, um, I showed him the Rip Tripper video. He managed to rebuild it himself, but Rip rebuilds them as single coils because the dual coil setup on that is just a hoover to set up. But honestly, if you have one really good coil, that's all you need. I never found any benefit over dual versus single. Some people f prefer dual coil because you can really get them low ohmed, but me, I like the single coil setups myself. And that chocolate banana I got is delicious too. That's um, this one here. They added a little bit too much banana flavoring to it, not enough chocolate, but uh, that's all right. I'm not gonna complain about that. It's friggin' amazing. It does a great job. Oh, and I like what they wrote on here. Gotta show you that. Uh, nicotine is harmful to your health. Do not drink. You wanna know why they put that on there? Because there were some kids buying e-juice and drinking it to get nicotine high. That's right, people. That's right. But this is from Hooligan Vapes. The blue water, which also has the do not drink warning on it and all that, is from Paradise Vapes. And the strawberry shortcake is also from Hooligan Vapes. So, 
I wanted to get some more Muppets blood, but they were out of stock, so instead I went with the Chuck Lanana, and it was pretty good, so. Also, I need to build this, but I'm probably going to build this tonight when I get back from work. I want to build it pretty high on the ohms, and then, or actually, I'm probably going to build it low on the ohms and mount it onto this guy, because that seems right, but uh, let's see what it'll look like on there first. Oh, I think that looks pretty sweet on there. It has a little bit of an overhang lip, but all in all, I think it looks pretty badass. Yup. Nemesis with a Helio. Love it. This is the other thing I love about the Helio. Look at the center post. It's got an independent screw for each friggin positive and negative post. That is awesome. There's already a Chinese coil into it. You know what? Let's fire it up and see how it goes. Alrighty, so this is with the stock Chinese coils. Let's see how hard they hit. Kind of junky. Oh, I, I hate canthal. Or not canthal, sorry. Silica. Oh, I hate silica. It leaves just this bad taste in your mouth. Yup. Super does. <coughs> oh, bleh. So I was just watching Citizen J on uh, YouTube there. Probably heard Pug1 talk about him on the THC a couple times. And he was mentioning that uh, freaking Missouri finally legalized the use of hemp oil for medicinal use for kids that are sick. Um, I don't exactly know what you do with hemp oil. I guess you cook with it. I, I don't know, but I remember I watched this video of this young girl when she was born, she had something wrong with her brain and she would go into grandma's seizures like every 20 minutes and the seizures would last about 9 minutes so literally she was only normal for like 11 minutes every 20 minutes and then she would just fucking lose her shit and flop around like do the funky chicken, right? So they started doing treatments, so they tried every treatment possible, nothing worked so then they tried the medicinal way and they resorted to hemp oil, high in CBDs, no THCs. And uh, literally a week after the treatment, apparently the seizures stopped and she had one, uh, zero to one seizures a week. And it was like complete reversal effects. Now the kid can live a normal life and it's all from the use of hemp oil. And freaking, I don't know, I guess they're cooking with it. I'm going to say they probably make cookies with it and give her cookies and that's her dosage, that's her medicine. But uh, I've never really looked into that kind of stuff on how to use hemp oils and all that cooking stuff. Like Pug has on his channel, um, or Pug's old lady's channel I think it is. I can't remember which one. But um, she makes... Uh, Medicinal cookies and medicinal uh, jube jubes or gummy bears or something like that and all that stuff. And I don't know if they're using hemp oil or if they're using hash or if they're... What they're using, I have no idea. But they're making it medicinally so that instead of having to smoke it, because igniting anything can't be good for you. Igniting a joint can't be good for you. Vaporizing it, so much better. You're not getting... Because like when you light a lighter, for instance... Uh, you know, there's a chemical coming out of there. Sometimes butane. I, th I think it's always butane, to be honest with you. But... Butane probably isn't the best thing to inhale. And, you know, even smoking cigarettes, you know, when you light your cigarette, if you're using a wooden match, that's one thing. If you're using a lighter, a chemical lighter, now you're taking in even more chemicals. So vaporizing, like Puck has that Vapormax V or Flower Mate or whatever the hell they're calling it these days. And that thing's probably a lot more healthier for you than lighting with a lighter, but... You know, then, well, Pug does have that other lighter, right? But combusting things, that's what they say about cigarettes, right? There's 132 chemicals, 144 chemicals in a cigarette, but then when you light it, and all of a sudden those 144 chemicals become a 1,000 chemicals, and it's like, holy shit, how did that happen? And freaking brutal. But um, cooking with it, you know, kind of cool, kind of a cool way. And uh, the hemp oil, apparently there's no THC, it's all that CBD. And the CBD is when I had my insomnia... That's the kind of medicinal weed I was prescribed. It was the high in CBD, no THC. So it didn't get your right wrecked where you're like, mm, you know, it didn't get your like right torched out of your tree. It basically, it was kind of a relaxing, mellow feeling I found. Like, it basically made me want to go to go lay down and go to sleep. And my mind was at ease despite of what was happening in my life. And that worked the best for me. And I actually enjoyed it. Now, some people out there, um, you know, medicinal marijuana, they want that THC. They want that buzz. They want to get right wrecked. For me, though, at the time, it wasn't that wasn't the cause. For me, it was more or less, I just want my brain to shut the fuck up. And the CBD did it. So, 
that was perfect for me. But, you know, this is a small step, and honestly, I still say they should legalize marijuana and treat it like, like alcohol. But all in due time, it's slowly happening, slowly happening. Guess we'll have to wait and see where it goes from here. But as for me, people, I'm going to shut her down for now, and uh, i got to head off to work and shit, so... Well, that's what we're going to do. So hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, you know where that like button is. Give it a clickety-clack. Any questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. If you're wondering where I got all this stuff, it was from canvape.com. Link will be in the prescription. Fuck sakes, I watched too much pug. Uh, link will be in the description. That's better. Uh, go check them out if you need to get any vaping gear. They got really good prices. And I was chatting with the owner from there, and he does his best to undercut everybody. Basically to try and be the cheapest online. And so far, he's nailing it because he's got some pretty cheap prices compared to a lot of other shops that I've checked out. And the customer service is great there, too. And they have a Facebook fan page, which is nice because you can go in there and ask questions about products you bought from there. And they will answer them for you. And they're pretty quick on the responses. So there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Until next time, guys, keep on vlogging. <laughs>